هو الذي ارسل رسوله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله ولو كره المشركون صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقه قولي respected viewers and listeners assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh the verse which i have recited is from surah as-saf chapter 61 verse number 9 It says, "Who will the Zee arsala Rasoolahu bil Huda? It is He who sends down His messengers with guidance, with the Nil Hak, with the religion of truth. Lo yus zahira hu ala din kulli hi, the truth which will bulldoze all other isms. Walla ukari hal mushrikoon. How much the mushrikeen or the disbelievers detest it." Chapter sixty-one, verse number nine. In another verses, Allah also men, uh, mentioned, "Walla ukari hal kafirun, walla ukari hal mushrikun, wa kafa billahi shahida." And Allah is enough to witness to this fact that this religion will prevail and bulldoze everything, every ideology. <clears throat> Today, the topic is about hypocrisy or hypocrisy. You see, in Islam, we have two kinds of hypocrisies. Number one, it is batin, and number two, zahir. Batin means something hidden inside your heart, and zahir, which is apparent, you cannot hide it. From batin, this kind of hypocrisy is very hard to know to recognize. why because this is the matter of the prophet at his time to recognize that who is a real hypocrite because allah reveals to his prophet or rather prophets and tell them that this guy in your community in your midst is a hypocrite but after the finishing of all this revelation as prophet muhammad peace be upon him is the last prophet now we cannot say as certain that this person is hypocrite we cannot so first category of hypocrisy is that you do not believe in the person but in your actions you support him which is the most dangerous concept Four types of enemies were with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Kuffar in Mecca, Munafiq in Medina, Jews and Christians. All these four they were grouping together to hurt or harm Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Amongst them, Allah says, the worst of all were the hypocrites of Medina, worse than disbelievers of Mecca. Why? because they on the face of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam they support him but at the back they were stabbing him worst of all so allah says in surah an-nisa chapter 4 verse 135 that munafiqin or munafiq will be burned in the lowest depth of the hell fire they will be not they will be not be forgiven they will not be forgiven at any cost This is Munafiq Medina. This type of hypocrisy you cannot find now or identify them. With that is why we have the worst of scenarios everywhere because we do not know that this guy is honest with us or not. So this number one category, let keep this aside. Allah will judge on your Yom Qiyamah. The second one. is intellectual hypocrisy or apparent hypocrisy which we are doing now which is recognizable for example you believe in something but you don't do it you see everywhere injustices you close your eyes you say something from your mouth but you do not follow it hypocrisy and this is the worst punishment from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from surah at-tauba chapter 9 verse number 75 to 